Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we have quite an exciting little thing going on over here in our route. It doesn't actually affect anything, and I don't think, but it's quite a tangled knot going on over there. Of course, we are heading off to Jerusalem to collect ourselves some piety. We apparently have a dangerous faction. This is possibly fake. We'll see whether that's a real faction or not. Most of these ransoms are likely to be acceptable. That one is not, though. Actually, that one should have been. You're not our vassal, okay? You are our vassal. Get out of here. And you're not our vassal. Okay, sounds good. So off we go to Jerusalem here, and we'll just handle these ransoms as they come in. Most of these are indeed successful. Hmm. They're telling a rude story about the emperor. Okay. Okay. Excellent. We'll take a seat by the fire. What could possibly go wrong? We're definitely not the Emperor. That That's definitely not what's happening here. So all of these are pretty much unacceptable. This one's good, though. 100 gold for that one, too. I like it. So we'll be arriving rather soon over here. That's great. Only Catholics may take this journey. We need all the piety we can get our hands on, and we actually successfully converted. Fantastic. So, this is acceptable as well. Hmm. Have you heard about the grace of God? Our pilgrimage will become very pious. We have a 100% chance. Phenomenal. How are we doing on that piety then? We've already achieved piety level 2? Wow. Okay, this is going very well. I like it. So, of course, we can't start any wars while we're on this pilgrimage, but that's fine. We will accept this ransom. That is completely okay as well. What do we got going on here? Yes. No problem there, and no problem here. We should, of course, be working on spending our gold where we can. And there's a lot of places we can still spend gold. How are we... I did not mean to go to speed one. There we go. How are we doing on our primogeniture here? Okay. Royal Armory is done. Standing Armies, Plate Armor, plate armor and Sappers are going to be important. But five years away on primogeniture seems reasonably fine. This ransom is acceptable. 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 Not acceptable. And not acceptable. Fantastic. We'll get a blacksmith upgrade going here. Man, a lot of ransoms coming in. This one's fine. No problem here. We would become the owner of the Sword of Mohammed, but we can't actually benefit from it because it is presumably requiring Islam? Yes. Okay. Sure, we'll take it. Why not? Seems fine? I guess. Seems fine. So we're heading on over to Jerusalem here. We'll be arriving very, very shortly. Our regent attempted to obtain us gold and failed. More piety. I like it. We'll spend our time praying instead. We are n not really nearly to level 3. But let's see what we've got. 450 gold. Okay. That's decent. Cool. Oh, hello. Hi, Jerusalem. We've walked the holy path. Okay. So there's probably going to be more events there. That would be good. We'll get crown smithies going. More pious would be good. Absolutely. You have to do what you have to do. So our pilgrimage becomes almost level 3 piety. We've got three months until this pilgrimage ends. The question is, do we get another event that brings us up to level 3 piety? What do we got? Actually, this does give us additional piety. Yep, that brought us to level 3. Fantastic. I don't think we make our way up to level 4, but that's that would be remarkable if we did. The Pilgrim's Guide. So we could get a local expert, or it could become more pious. 80% chance of nothing happens. This is only good. We would miss out on the 50 piety, though. So yeah, we're not going to get to level 4 unless we get an event here. And we didn't. So that's fine. Jerusalem, it has been an honor. We almost got a perfect pilgrimage there. Not quite, but almost. So we're now on our way back. That is absolutely fine. Let's upgrade our hunting grounds and our outpost. We have a lot of upgrades yet to do, right? So we'll get this barracks going. That'll be fine. What is this ransom? Acceptable is what it is. 
phenomenal. Blacksmith District looks good. And we'll continue to get as many upgrades going as we can, of course. Outer Bailey's seems absolutely fine. This Ransom is fine as well. So as soon as we return back, we've got about 5,000 piety right now. We do have a new learning perk available, and we'll take profit. That'll boost up our monthly piety, so that's good. Now, do we want to go after France when we get back? Wait, we can do that now? We're still traveling. We're here. We can declare right now on stuff? Okay, that's interesting. So, we're truced here. We, I'm just checking to see what this would end up looking like. Okay, noted. So, if we were going to go after Brittany, we would almost certainly want to go after the duchy title. But we don't have a CB on that. So, that's mildly awkward for us. We could, of course, fabricate claims. That is always an option. We can come down over this way and continue to clean this up. We are still truced down over here, although not to this guy. Noted. As a hypothetical, if we were to attack France, we have some de jure territory over here. Okay, what else do we have? Duchy of Orléans. That's not bad. That's even better. Okay, and then a struggle clash would look like this, which would be expensive in terms of piety, and would be broadly similar to this claim here. I feel like this is a good claim. And we should consider pressing it. How are we doing on potentially getting the Kingdom of France? We need six counties. That's not that many counties, to be honest. So, six counties... And we're going to get one, two, three, four, five out of this. And we have a de jure here. Oh my. Okay. So we're actually really close to getting France de jure. Fascinating. Which means we should declare this and get our troops on cooldown as soon as possible. So this guy has access to like 13,000 troops, right? So we're going to raise up our forces over here. We'll raise up men-at-arms, we'll raise up some levy troops. Phenomenal. This will be sufficient. Apparently our rival died. Okay, that's very convenient. And we're just going to, is this a castle over here? It is a castle. Okay, so double castle here. Fascinating. We'll grab this and we'll seize our way up and start taking the war goal. A white squall? Hmm, losing 104 stress. Well, we're apparently very good at sailing, so that's good. We are a seasoned traveler, which does make sense. We do have enough piety to attack France. However, we're likely going to look to use our piety on the HRE, if I had to guess. So for now, I definitely want to get our truce on cooldown with France. That is the idea here. We see their army running around over here. They've got other problems, though. So, we're at 32% war score. And we're just going to head on down here and continue to take the war goal. Yeah, we can see uh, they're in significant danger here. This actually might end up resetting the truce for us, which would be great. Assuming we can end this war before they end their war. That would be the goal. So, we would need to hop down here. We're at 50% war score right now. And we've returned home. What are they at? 36? Okay, that's a Liberty War. Okay, so the Liberty War isn't actually going to do anything notable for us. So we might want to come up and fight this force specifically for the Prestige. We'll speak well with him. Okay, and... My apologies, you were saying? Cool. So that's all fine. We, Like I said, we might want to come up here and fight this force specifically for the prestige. And I think that does make a decent amount of sense. Especially if they're going to come and siege back over here. Yeah. So we're going to head up this way. We're going to take over their siege here. Piety. Definitely the piety. We need all the piety we can get our hands on. So we're going to now walk up and take over this siege. There we go. We caught the force. And we're actually losing this battle. They have high-quality men-at-arms. Okay. I didn't anticipate that exactly. We had a significant numerical advantage, but 
Okay, we actually lose that battle. That's fine. It doesn't actually hurt us in any meaningful way. Other than, you know, delaying us a bit. They restarted their siege there, though, which is fascinating. So we're going to turn back around. We'll see if they fight each other there. Dangerous faction here. This is due to our troop count being low. So we'll definitely deal with that. We'll take this location back. And we're going to head back up over here. We have a numerical advantage again. We did significantly more damage to them than they did to us. And as we replenish our forces, we can see... Yeah, that, that faction went away briefly. Now we've got this Liberty faction. Okay, I'm not too, too concerned about it. We could do something about this guy, though, potentially. Yeah, that would work. Phenomenal. So we'll hop up over here. Excellent. No, that's too expensive. We'll get this back. That puts us at 73% war score. And now we can head up and... Mm, I don't know about fighting them here. This is likely going to end up being a fight. Yeah, I don't want to actually do that. So we're going to come down over this way. And we're just going to end our war like so. We're at 73%. We would like to end our war before they end theirs. We do need to get out of this war because of this faction specifically. It's 31 months away, so for the moment, it's not the biggest of deals. But let's just end this quick. We're at 82%. Cool. Showing Queen Ava. That'll be fine. Beautiful. 86%. We'll finish up this siege. These guys are not actually a huge threat there, so that's fine. Let's see what happens here, but it doesn't actually matter if they end their war first. This is actually kind of irrelevant to us now because we know it's a liberty war, so they're not going to be changing their rulership. We still want this war over, right? So the war is over, and we're going to enforce our demands and disband our troops. Phenomenal. So this territory is under the Duchy of Orléans, which is fine. We're not concerned about that. That's the Empire of Francia, right. We're actually really close to the Empire of Francia as well. The Kingdom of France, we are... Interesting. Do we not need the one additional title to do this? He's currently fighting a war. But it's also over, this war. So, there we go. Can we usurp this right now? Yes, we can. Remarkable. I thought we'd need one more county, but that's great. So, to that end, we now have a lot of additional locations we can attack, right? Because these are now duchy level. So, we can attack Champagne. We can attack Normandy, and then we can go after Flanders. So, as a hypothetical, this is all... This is our de jure territory, right? So, we can definitely do this. Like, literally right now. This kid, we can't. We might be able to persuade him, though. 77 opinion for 150 gold. Okay. This guy's not happy about us. 524 reasons. Yeah, fair enough. And 545. But this kid, he's only got 25 reasons. Our powerful vassal opinion of us is 13 of those. And we recently waged war, which is obviously a bit of an issue. For now, we'll leave that be. I want to attack this guy first. Do we declare these simultaneously? Out of curiosity? I think it's fine. So this would be our de jure land here. We would not get this barony. What's going on with that? Ah, oh, that's part of Lotharingia. Okay, that's fine. So we'll seize that de jure territory. Looks good. Let's raise up our forces here. We know because of this force here, we know that that's a fairly powerful force, and we're going to need more than we think we're going to need. So that's fine. I also want to make sure that we spend our cash down. So let's head over to Malagon and let's work on our blacksmiths there. This is not going to take very long to spend our cash down because we definitely have some pretty expensive costs at this point. There's no doubt about that. I do want to head up over... This is actually not helpful. Okay. I want to head over this direction and this is our bombards. So we'll definitely get some workshops going there. Looks good. Okay, so let's raise up these forces. We're going to raise more than we think we need. Naturally. And this is going to be... I think we'll raise, like, 75k. So that's good enough. Beautiful. In we go. 
Uh, we can stop gathering, thanks. There we go. Phenomenal. So, this is going to be pretty under control, right? We're going to head down here. We do have a dangerous faction. This is this independence faction. It's mostly the king of Aquitaine. What can we do about this guy? That's a hostage. Okay. We have a granddaughter. It would not result in an alliance, though, which is sad. We can just hop down. We don't actually catch this guy here. Here we do, though. Okay. So that should, in theory, stack wipe. These guys are sieging relatively quickly over here, and we're going to want to go fight them. So that stack wipes. Now we're going to split off our bombards and possibly somewhere around 25k. These guys are going to head on over and look to stop these sieges. Not that we're going to get there in time. And we're just going to go up and wrap up this war over here. So that looks good. You're a vassal, right? No, you're part of Valois. That's fine. Okay. So we catch nothing over here, which is definitely sad. I guess we can work on taking this back. This war is over, so we'll enforce that. Then we're going to make our way up to... Let's see. Flanders is up over this way. I don't want to go there just yet. We move over this way, I think. Yeah, I'm watching these guys move this direction, and this seems completely fine. So we would look to intercept them somewhere out over here. We have a numerical advantage. They might end up having a men-at-arms advantage here. Maybe. It's a bit hard to tell. However, part of their force left. So this is just free then. We only caught part of their force there, so that's wonderful. This faction is definitely a bit of an issue, and we'll need to wrap up these wars. No doubt about that. We're at 25% war score here. Winning this battle is a big deal. We'll head up here for now. Let's see what happens when we take this capital. They're actually retreating towards their capital. We need to move up here. Hmm. I have no need for your help. Okay. So, yeah, if they're retreating up over here... The County of Upper Gurma was just inherited by us. We need to grant that out. We do not need to hold that. In fact, we actively need to not hold that. And we can grant some vassals over to rightful lieges as well, which we should do. Absolutely. Powerful vassals are expecting council positions. That is certainly something that we would like to handle. King of Aquitaine can actually be part of this council. That's fine. They're splitting up here. This is an interesting call. They're doing, like, a delaying action, but then they didn't actually embark. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what to make of that. That's very strange. This war is over. So that's great. We can enforce those demands. And we'll head up into Flanders. So this is great, of course. We're going to want to hand this out to a king eventually. And actually, that goes away, so no problem there. Hi, Flemish forces. We're going to go fight the Flemish forces over here, for sure. Assuming we can. Yeah, we can catch them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we definitely catch part of them there. That's perfect. They're actually stack wiped before the rest even get back, so no problem whatsoever there. And that's the war over. So we'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. So this territory, of course, needs to be granted out. What's, what's going on with this duchy? Okay, we need to usurp it and grant it over to this guy. So the duchy of Flanders. There we go. Cool. Now, of course, we're truced with this guy. And we're truced with this guy as well. No problem there. That's fine. We'll deal with Valois. We'll deal with the remains of Flanders. We don't have much to go into Brittany on at this point. I mean, we could struggle clash it. And then the second struggle clash would get us these, and then we'd have to do a third struggle. And no, we would get a second struggle clash because of the shape of Cornwall. Fascinating. Okay, we do have a learning perk that we need to take, and we'll take clerical justifications. The real danger at this point, of course, is factionalism, right? So we do need to deal with this situation. So we've got the king of Aquitaine. He's happier, but he's not happy. What do we want to do about this? We don't really have a daughter for him at this point. We only have the four children. 
Our son is unmarried. Queen of Maghreb, perhaps? No. Okay. Uh, King of Ghana. Maybe. Actually, kind of, yeah. There we go. That'll do the trick, then. So that'll pull him out of that faction. For the time being, I'm holding France ourselves because I want to wait until after we've taken Valois. Now, this guy has 30 reasons to not accept this. Powerful vassal opinion of us is minus 12 of those, but it's mostly just recently waged war. I'm not sure how long this sticks around for, but it's a while. So we'll see on that one. As far as this down here goes, of course, we do want to start clearing all of this up. Do we struggle clash these? I think it makes sense to struggle clash them as opposed to holy warring them. So we'll raise up some forces here, but I want to check to see how are we doing on truce here. We still have a truce there. We could declare on this guy. Struggle clashing there or holy warring for duchy would be the same thing. So we'll do that for the moment. Declare here with a struggle clash as well. So we'll fight these guys. We're truced here, so we can't do that just yet. Without being a truce break, anyway. So we'll raise up our forces and we'll head on in as soon as they arrive. We're only bringing levy troops to this. We should not need anything else. So that'll be fine. We can ask our Head of Faith for claims on... some interesting things here. For now, we're not going to do that, but that's definitely an option. If Brittany was in that, I would have strongly considered it. So there's a stack wipe, and there's this war over. We're going to enforce these demands... Which, of course, gives us this war. We're going to make our way on up. And we're going to look to eliminate this force. I think we catch it here in the forest. And then these guys are just kind of running around. They, they think they've outmaneuvered us or something. I'm, I'm not sure what they're doing. They're trying to siege here, but there's no way. They simply don't have the time. So we're going to stack wipe this force. Uh, we're not going to catch them here, sadly. They're running out over this way. And we took kind of an awkward path. That said, we might catch this smaller force. Yes. Beautiful. And then these guys stopped moving. They could have used them to escape, but they didn't. Fascinating. So we'll stack wipe that. No problem. There we go. And now we're going to make our way up over this direction, right? And we can definitely siege that down. So that is within Mali here, and we certainly want to deal with that. Actually, that's not going to get us war score. We want to just make our way on up over this way. We want to get these other wars eliminated. So for now, we'll let ticking war score exist here. We could just white piece this. We'll see if it's required. We'll let ticking war score go for now. If they are threatening our ticking war score, we'll white piece it. Well, they're here. Yeah, I think we just white piece it. We don't actually care about this war, right? So white piecing it is fine. We keep the contested title. Boom. So that war is over. No problem. And we're going to head on up over this direction. There is this siege here. Who's that occupied by? Okay, that's this guy. Sure. No problem whatsoever here. This is completely okay. Minus 11% from that, but again, no problem. So this war is over. We'll enforce those demands. And we're going to head on up over this direction. Of course, this needs to be granted out to somebody. And there we go. No problem. Hmm. Our son was murdered. Well, that's awkward. So that, of course, means that this faction continues to exist. Mostly because of Aquitaine. And we don't have great options there for the moment. Other than, you know, try to make Aquitaine happy. We could, like, bribe them. 73 opinion for 225 gold is pretty good, actually. We'll take that. I don't think that'll get him to leave the faction, though. Yeah, that won't. That's fine. So this war's completely over, right? We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. Phenomenal. So that's this border region nearly cleaned up. We're not truced with this guy at this point, and the county of Karumba? 
that's more expensive than a struggle clash. So we'll just do it this way. Cool. We'll raise up our men at arms, and in we go. Assuming they don't stack wipe our rays, which they could theoretically, but assuming they don't stack wipe our rays, this war's over. We did just discover primogeniture. So that's actually a big deal. Let's hop over to our succession and think about changing to primogeniture. So the king of all Andalus disapproves. We can send him a gift. He'll gain 51 opinion there. Queen of Maghreb and the king of Alsark. All of these are disapproving right now. So we're going to send this guy a gift and we are going to demand his conversion. Now, he's probably not going to accept that. And then we've got... Why do you approve? Maybe he's terrified of us. Okay. For now, that's fine. So the king of Al-Andalus is Catholic. So for now, that's fine. This guy would do it for a hook. Now, we're not going to bargain for his soul. All I wanted was an imprisonment reason on him. So that's all good. Standing armies? Actually, that's fine. That's what we would have chosen. It just automatically moved to standing armies. I like it. So this war's over. We're going to enforce those demands. And the only thing that we are missing down here now is, of course, Upper Gurma. And Dendi is no longer independent. Okay. That got eaten by Hauseland. That is fine. So all we need now is Upper Gurma before we start trying to break into these other locations. So that's great. Valois, of course, we're going to have to go after eventually. 60 reasons now. Well, low feudal obligations is 30. So that's completely fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. If we don't, we'll conquer him. It's not a big deal. So I do want to get us moved over to primogeniture. That's going to be a big deal. But we're going to have to get some of these guys to, to approve of it. So... That'll be a job for next episode. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12UK, 12 uk Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.